and like you you all know that if you go back um a few pages in my videos you will know that I have done um OS OS wars in the past um that got pretty heated after seeing a few videos going back and seeing the quality the quality of those videos and the reason why I presented the those those were just lame um and I didn't present any concrete reasons why I use OS 10 more than um let's say Windows as you all know um I have started doing Windows tutorials to create more of a balance in the content that we produce in the hope that it will balance it out a bit more because I've done loads on OS 10 but not much on Windows and hardly anything on Linux. Some Linux videos are going to be uploaded so if you're watching this video just go and look at my channel and see if I've uploaded the Linux video. But but anyway, everyone has their own choice about which operating system they want, happen to want to use and I'm sure they have their own reasons and I'm sure at some stage I'll get into the reasons of why I use OS X more than more than Windows but today as you can gather from the title up there I wanted to talk about something a bit more a bit more substantiated and a bit a bit deeper and a, a more concrete discussion point what I wanted to talk about was how different tra traditional traditional quote unquote traditional PC hardware is different to Mac hardware or machines that can run OS OS ten. As you all know, um Apple released software called Bootcamp and there is software that you can run virtual machines of Windows on OS ten either VMware Fusion or Parallels um but yeah since Apple made the switch to Intel chips Intel Core 2 Duo um the Macs are becoming more like P PCs every single day Apple is renewing their commitments to another company in one way or another. What does it show that in the MacBook Air, Apple and Intel work together to innovate a specially designed chip to make that work? What does that tell you? I'll tell you what it tells you. It tells you that Apple don't want to be exclusive and they want to reach out to other companies so now that um the the mac is on intel in my opinion my personal opinion me the macs are pcs especially as you can now people say in on the mac well you can't build a mac that's true you can't you you can't build the core components but in the Mac Pro you can basically upgrade all the hard drives and um, it's got loads of PCI slots you, you can add new cards and things and it the Mac is a PC now with these all these latest innovations developed by Apple and other companies so that's what I think on Mac versus PC hardware Th thank you for listening